Hey, our friends here and draw a football. Yeah, when it's folded up, it'll look like a football, but then when you open it, it'll be an explosion of football stuff. Yes. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker to draw with, but you could use a pencil or whatever you feel comfortable drawing with. You also need some- Paper and something to call with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Actually, we're gonna fold our paper before we draw. So let's put our markers off to the side. We're gonna take the top edge of our paper Line it up with the bottom edge, and when it's lined up, we can crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. There you go. Good job. Then we're going to take the top flap and line it up with the top edge and crease it down the middle and out to the corners also. Then let's flip over our paper and we're going to repeat that same step. We're going to take the top edge, top flap, line it up with the top edge crease it down. And then this is just a guide fold. Oh, you squeaky <laughs> fingers. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a guide fold. So we're going to unfold that last one and then flip it back over. So your paper, when you're all done, should open like this. Let's put a red piece of scratch paper. It doesn't have to be red. We're just using scratch paper to protect our table when we're drawing with our markers. Let's draw the shape of our football. Now half of it will be above the fold and the other half is below the fold. So I'm going to start over here on the left side and I'm going to draw a curve that comes up and then we're going to curve back down. It looks like kind of a rainbow line. There you go. Nice. Then we're going to try to repeat that same curve but turn it upside down and we're going to draw it coming down like this and back up and stop in the same spot over here. Yes, I love the shape of your football. And I especially love that our two footballs don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your football shapes look different than ours too, because the most important thing is- Have fun. And to- Practice. Practice, remember to practice. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's add the stripe on the front and the back of the football. We're gonna draw a line straight down. And then we're gonna leave some space and we're gonna draw another line straight down. Then let's repeat that same step, but on the other side. So we want the, about the same amount of space. Try to use your eyes to measure with. Oh, that mine's a lot smaller. That's okay. <laughs> we're practicing, right? Yeah. And we're gonna draw another line to match the, the stripe over here. Okay, now let's draw the seam going down the middle of our football. So we're gonna draw the same curve, but we're gonna draw it a slightly different. We're gonna come down a little lower. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. Sometimes that makes it easier. And we're gonna draw over to the other point. Now let's draw the laces. This is the part that you grip onto when you're throwing the football. We're gonna draw one right down the middle. So we're gonna draw two lines like this right next to each other. And then you can also draw those a little bit longer and then also draw them the same length. Yeah. And then at the very bottom, we're gonna connect them. Okay, let's repeat that same step. We're gonna repeat it over here on the left. I'm gonna draw it a little bit longer because it's coming down and then we'll connect them. Let's add another lace over here on the left side to uh, straight lines coming down and then we'll connect them at the bottom. I'm gonna add another one on each side and connect them at the bottom and another one over here. That one's kind of, this one's kind of small. Then let's add a stripe or lace going right down the middle. So I'm gonna add a short line that's in between each of the laces and then we'll put, then we'll put one right here and another one here and one last one right here. We did it awesome, we finished drawing our football. And the cool thing about this is you could just memorize those steps. So you could draw a football anytime you want. And you also don't have to do it as a folding surprise. You could just draw it on a piece of paper. Yeah. Now let's open up our paper and we'll flatten out the folds. We're gonna draw our football exploding and stuff inside of it. So let's first extend each side of the football on the left and the right. Then we're gonna draw a messy zigzag line to connect these two lines. And we wanna make sure that we don't draw the zigzag above this fold. We want it to be below the fold. Some of the zigzags I'm gonna draw big and some will be small. 
and we'll just mix up and vary the sizes of each of the zigzags. That way it looks like it's exploded. Yes. All right, let's draw that same explosion down here. We're going to extend the left and the right further up. And the same thing with this zigzag, though, we want to make sure it doesn't go below this fold. That's why we have this guide fold in there to help us. That way, when we fold up the paper, it's hidden and you can't see the exploded part. And we're going to draw this messy zigzag all the way over to the other side. And I'll show you when we have it folded up. See how it's all hidden? Yeah. It's really cool that way. OK, now we're ready to draw the stuff inside of our football. Let's draw a burst. We're going to draw another zigzag, but we're going to draw in kind of an oval shape. So I'll just start anywhere and I'm going to draw zigzags. You can watch me first. We're going to draw this going all the way around, almost in a circle or an oval shape, over to the other side. This is really fun to draw. And I drew it kind of big so that you can fit something inside of this starburst. Now let's draw a football helmet over here on the left side. We're going to draw a curve like this. And you can even go behind some of the starbursts if you want. So we draw kind of this big curve. Then we're going to draw the part that comes in and down. And then we're going to curve around right here and then connect to the back. Let's draw the ear hole right here. And then let's also draw the face mask. We're going to draw two lines that come out from that shape. And then we'll connect them here. Oh, I'm going to extend them a little bit past the helmet shape and we'll connect them back here too. Then we can draw a bar right in the middle and I'm going to draw two more bars going down. I'm going to add another shape right here on the front. Maybe it's like a padding inside. You could also add your favorite team's logo right here on the side of the helmet. But let's keep going. Let's add a foam finger right here, one that's pointing number one. We're going to draw an upside down U shape. It comes up and back down. And then we're going to draw the thumb right below it. So we're going to draw a sideways U shape like this. And then we're going to draw the side of the hand coming down further. And then right here, I'm going to connect the thumb just like you did. And you could leave it just like that. OK, now let's draw the bottom of the foam finger. It will come across underneath the thumb. Then we're going to draw the other side of the hand coming up past the thumb. And then we're going to connect into the finger. OK, now let's draw the fingers that are closed. So we've got one finger pointing up, and then we have a three coming down. So we're going to draw one coming down here. And we're going to add an another finger next to it. Then we're going to draw another one. And this one will connect to the thumb. And then we're going to add one more finger. It comes down past the thumb and then back up. Then let's add the other fingers that are coming below the thumb. I'm going to add one and then another one like that. <laughs> we did it. OK, now let's trace around the foam finger just the outside shape. So we're going to come around like this, back under, over, and connect back up. Austin, if we ever go too fast during a step, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yes, if you need extra time. OK, let's add a hot dog over here. Now, you guys could also add whatever you want. You could pause the video and just draw other things. You could draw nachos. You could draw a drink. Or you could even draw another football that's smaller. Let's add the bun first. So I got this line coming down. We're going to curve around like this and then connect to the other side. There's one side of the hot dog, the bun. Then we're going to draw the hot dog. We're going to draw another line that matches the first one we drew, but it goes past on both sides. And then we're going to draw the hot dog coming around and connecting to the bun on both sides. 
And let's draw the other side or the other bun on the other side. We're going to draw another shape that matches. <laughs> I love your hot dog. Thank you. Now let's draw a trophy down here in the bottom left. We're going to draw a U shape for the cup. Then we can connect the top. Then let's draw the base of the trophy. We're going to draw two lines coming down. And then on each side, let's curve out. Then we can draw two short lines further down and connect those at the bottom. Let's add handles to our trophy. I'm going to draw a letter C on the left and a backward C on the right. Oh, also, let's add number one on the trophy. <laughs> it looks really cool, but let's add more explosion. I'm going to add another zigzag that goes around the first one that we did. But each time we get to one of the things that we drew, like the hot dog, I'm going to go behind it. So even with this trophy right here, I'll connect to it and then imagine it coming behind and coming out the other side until we go around and complete this second explosion to our football. Oh, let's do one more thing before we color. Let's extend the stripe down to the zigzag on the top part on both sides. And then let's do the same thing down here on the bottom part of the football. And we did it. We finished drawing our football exploding. Now you could also add something inside of the starburst. Let's color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! Awesome! Give me five! We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our footballs. They look so cool. Except let's show our art friends the inside. On the count of three. One, two, three. We're, we're number, number one! one. <laughs> I love your number one in the middle, but you guys can add whatever you want to the middle of your drawing. What was the idea that you had? A field goal. Yeah, the goalpost. That would be really cool. You could also add maybe a whistle or even the first down marker. Just remember to add extra things below this fold and above the bottom fold. That way when it's folded up, it's completely hidden. Now you could also change the colors. We colored our helmet blue, but you could color your favorite team color. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your football. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add more things to the inside. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.